Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to do percent yield calculations. Before we go on, the formula to calculate percent yield is percent yield equals actual yield over theoretical yield times 100, okay? Now, what is actual yield and what is theoretical yield? I'm going to use cooking as an example. So for example, you want to make cupcake, okay? And you go online, you search up a recipe. The recipe says that if you go through every step that you're gonna make 10 cupcakes, of a particular size that they must have mentioned. Now, these 10 cupcakes is what we call theoretical yield. It is theoretical because the recipe says that's what you're going to get, but you have not done it. So you're not sure if that is what you will get. It's just what is on paper, all right? Now that is your theoretical yield. So if you now go ahead and follow the recipe, makes this cake, and at the end of your baking, you probably got about eight cupcakes instead. So these eight cupcakes is going to then be your actual yield because you have done it, and that is the actual number of cupcakes that you got. So to calculate your percent yield, all you have to do would then be go through this equation, your percent yield, would then be equals to the actual yield, which is eight over 10 times 100, and that would give us 80%. All right, so we're going to put this in a chemistry related problem, and we'll see how we do that for chemistry. So this question says, when 33.76 grams of benzene reacts with excess oxygen, according to the balanced chemical reaction below, what is the percent yield if 107 grams of carbon dioxide was actually produced? So according to the equation, percent yield equals actual yield over theoretical yield times 100. So we need actual yield and we need theoretical yield. So let's look at this, it says, when 33.76 grams of benzene reacts with excess oxygen. So we have a value. Now, this value here, we will need to use it to calculate something. But what is the percent yield if 107 grams of carbon dioxide was actually produced? The word actually produced. So it means that this 107 grams is your actual yield, okay? So we have our actual yield, but we do not have the theoretical yield. So the theoretical yield, we're going to make use of the 33.76 grams of the benzene and use it to find the theoretical yield of carbon dioxide. Now note, the, whichever one you are given, that is what you're going to look for. Since they said, what is the percent yield of 107 grams of carbon dioxide that was actually produced, you're going to find the theoretical yield of carbon dioxide. Now, in order to find the theoretical yield of carbon dioxide, we need to break the grams of benzene to the moles of benzene first. And to do that, you need the molar mass of benzene. So the molar mass of benzene would then be the mass of carbon which is 12.01 times six, the mass of hydrogen, which is 1.008 times six. So 12.01 times six is gonna give us 72.06. And 1.008 times six is gonna give us 6.048. And then we add those two together. That will give us 78.108 grams per mole. Okay. Now, 
because we want the mole, we're going to turn this upside down, put the mole on top, okay? And then the grams below. Now remember, you're trying to find the mole of benzene. So you want these grams to be on the opposite side so they can cancel out. The next step would then be to go from the mole of the benzene to the mole of carbon dioxide. In this equation, I have 12 carbon dioxide against two of benzene. The 12 carbon dioxide will be on top because that's what you're trying to find. So 12 mole of CO2 over two mole of benzene. Now the mole benzene will cancel out. You have mole carbon dioxide, but theoretical yield is in grams. So you're going to go ahead and multiply this by the molar mass of carbon dioxide and the molar mass of carbon dioxide, we are going to also calculate. So we have carbon is 12.01, oxygen is 16 times two, you will have 32. So that will give us a 44.01 grams per mole as the molar mass of carbon dioxide. So put that here, 44, 0 0.01 grams CO2 over one mole. And the mole carbon dioxide will cancel this other one. So your final answer would then be to multiply 33.76 times 12 times 44.01 and divide that by 78.108 times two it gives us 114 grams approximately. So now we have our theoretical yield. What you just calculated is the theoretical yield and we have the actual yield. To calculate the percent yield, all we just need to do would then be to plug in the actual yield, which is 107 grams over the theoretical yield, which is 114 grams times 100. So the final answer will be 107 divided by 114 times 100, which is gonna give us 93.9%. So here I maintained three significant figures, okay? And that's your final answer. I hope this has helped you to understand how to do percent yield calculations. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.